people still want to be rappers for the industry. Mm. Big timers. Check this out. I told niggas to just keep it off the internet. I told them. Did I tell you? got to go back and watch the video. I'm like, bro, this going to end up on YouTube. Yo, you crazy. Ooh, my hand shaking over this bitch. Katie, what's up? You done talked about a lot of so-called real niggas. That's what the the people think they real niggas. No, no, but no, 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 no. The niggas forcing my hand around this bitch. Thinking I'm a hoe. Who? Niggas, period. I never seen it's a lot of them. I can't name them all. It's just so many of them. I'm trying to figure out why they use Oprah's and shit rich. But behind closed doors supposed to be behind closed doors. I don't know what freaky shit going on around here. Yeah, I mean, for niggas. I ain't never did no freaky shit for no fame. Listen, though. Oh, God. Crazy. Nah, 21 was mad at me because I said they be acting tough on the internet. He called me. He, bro, what you talking about, bro? We ain't, I ain't on that with you, bro. I swear to God. Okay. Yeah. So if he said he ain't on that with you, then he not on that with you. Niggas can tell you anything when they really ass hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what? Swear to God. I wouldn't tell you no story. When they ass hurt. <laughs> they assholes definitely hurt. Bleeding. What the fuck is you talking about? Penetrated. <laughs> why you think I ain't, I ain't no superstar like these niggas, man? Like, uh, what they, what's they, metros, uh, shit, niggas like that, south sides and shit like that. Dog, why are you putting smut on these niggas' names, man? Because it's a lot of, you know, under talking and shit that I can hear. I'm shaking this shit. How you, you putting smut on niggas' names out here, man? Talk about niggas got their ass invaded and all that. To be rich and... Niggas be playing with their motherfucking nose, too, around this bitch. Getting high. Ain't nothing wrong with that if that's what a nigga want to do. <laughs> Marvin Gaye got high. Rick J. Man, I was That's smoking time. some weed in Cali, man. Motherfucker, the lace my shit in there. Like, I ain't smoked in four years. Went to the mental hospital and everything. Woke up with my motherfucker in California with my motherfucking hands tied to the bed. Oh, oh God, I've been through it all. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Mm -hmm. wait. My mama coming. My mama coming. Hold on, wait, wait. Hold on. She, she like say, she like say, I'll roof. tell him from that motherfucking bed. Oh, God. Wait. A nigga slipped you a roofie and tied you to the bed? Nah, I'm talking about the hospital, nigga. Oh, Don't mix it up. <laughs> oh, God, because when I got out of jail, I went crazy. <laughs> nigga, you crazy now, nigga. Nah, nigga, when I got out of jail, I went crazy out there, bitch. The post cycle like a psychopath. <laughs> Breaking phones, all type of shit. All right. Okay. Well, shit, Chop, you came on here with a very interesting conversation today. Oh, wait, another thing. What? It's a nigga um, in the House of Blues studio in California, uh, Michael Jackson, old oh, shit. He from Memphis, but I ain't gonna say nothing about that. With his little seven-year contracts and shit. I went in there to try to rob his ass. He was on some freaky shit. Never mind. I ain't gonna talk about that one. What? That's too deep. <laughs> Ooh. Encino, <laughs> uh, California. Ooh. I used to stay down the street. <laughs> hey, bro. May God be with you, brother. Uh huh. I think his name is Victory or some shit like that. Ooh. What? Yes. Victory? <laughs> yeah. Like Boulevard. I got a house on Victory Boulevard. I bought a house on Victory Boulevard. Yeah, Magically. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. It's an industrial um, area. <laughs> hey, hey, may God be with you, nigga, because you crazy, nigga. Ooh, the blood of Jesus. 
<laughs> the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting beautiful. I'm the blood. I'm coming in. <laughs> that nigga crazy, man. He's crazy. No, nah, he's not. No, nah, he's not. Let's continue. Yes, bro. I'll be around French Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be on, I used to be on the road with them. Niggas be scary as hell. Hey, I so just said, look, I just said, right? Hold I, on, wait. So you gonna sit on here and say French Montana is scary nigga? Bro. On the Bible. Dog, I've been to French Montana since Coke Boy DVDs, man. Man, scary as hell. I just seen him in the studio not too long ago, like a couple days ago. I swear to God. You know, I talk about shit. You know, 50 be bullying his ass. I be talking about shit on. Oh, 50 got your ass scared. What that Bentley? I mean, that motherfucker. What's that car? The older uh, Bugatti. Yeah, he ain't never pull up in there. He was in an Uber. He might have been in a different city, man. Man, that nigga jury faker than the motherfucker. You hear me? Look. I don't know if Puffy taking his money or his manhood. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Puff House too. Motherfuckers used to run upstairs. <laughs> Let me drop the phone on that one. Hey, right hand up to God. <laughs> this motherfucker. Look, Look what, what fuck you see run upstairs? Frenchie. And you gonna call him Frenchie? Hey, my boy, his homie that passed away, man, that's my boy. That really was my boy, you know? My nigga. Hey, man, these bitch-ass niggas ain't pushing my shit. My nigga. He told me that shit. French Montana just bought a Bugatti. And you gonna sit on here and say that man jewelry fake? That's a fuck. <laughs> that's how you know how close I was. How you know it's fake, my nigga? I touched it. <laughs> Look, I'm grabbing this shit. I'm like, hold on, let me see this shit. Let me see that motherfucker, man. This shit fake as hell, man. It look, it feel heavy, but that shit fake. I know fake jewelry. That shit was dirty as hell. You hear me? My shit be dirty. And this shit ain't fake, bro. This shit ain't fake. I know fake jewelry. Damn, Siri just listening to me and shit. That motherfucker said, hmm? The fuck? I'm surprised your live ain't go off. Me and conversation. My, my live ain't going off. My live ain't. Damn, so you just came on here and just aired everybody out. Yeah, because they niggas be wanting to play with me, though. Now, this next clip, people, is important. And Ali Vegas, an old school rapper, right? is going to show you how they initiate people into these situations and some of them end up liking it, okay? Now, you might think, who's Ali Vegas? You see, hey, people, don't disrespect one-hit wonders and people that have fallen off, you know, because they're the people that you should be respecting. You might think, ah, oh, where's the career gone? Ah, oh, where are they gone? Nah. These people didn't want to do no blood rituals, man. That's why they was one-hit wonders. That's why they fell off. You sort of respecting the wrong side. But anyway, check this out. What they do with the artists is easy. They send the stylist at them first. Yeah, yeah. And if the stylist is like, if the stylist report back and be like, oh, he ready, then they invite you to the party. And that's when they be like, yo, look, when you go in here, it's going to be some, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a nigga at the door. Okay, that, now yeah. look, what Ali Vegas what... is doing to you right now, he's giving you... The game of how these niggas be getting turned the fuck out in this yeah, shit. Yeah, like they try to put this tight ass shirt on you. That's what they do. And if you wear the shirt, they like, oh, he ready. He he with it. That's you telling them like, yeah, I'm ready. And then next thing you know, you get invited to the party with the greeting is the man squeezing your dick. Whoa! <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. Yeah. And I'm telling them like, yo, son, like it's so crazy because I used I always tell them, like my cousins would be like, yo, son, like you that guy, like why are you? I'm like, bro, I don't want it that bad. So, all right, let's keep uh, it a buck. Did you did you actually see niggas get 
twist it to uh, the other you side. You go to that, yo, you go through that, you go to that party. Like, if you ain't turning around and you see everybody, you you seeing everybody walk through the joint. I that's, mean, the thuggish yeah. niggas. You see them walking, you like, and you in the parking lot, like, on your way out, like, yo, son, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, yo, nah, that's just some wild shit. Nah, nah. You know I'm saying? just going to go check it out. <laughs> that's, like, what I'm trying to tell you is, like, wow. we coming down the hill. Like, like, yo. But, like, yo, bro, like, yo, this is facts. Like, for years, like, so my cousins used to be like, yo, like, yo, man, like, so then what happened was, you know I mean, my cousin Sherm, you know what I mean, my cousin Jafar, I mean, he started doing, like, you know, modeling or whatever. I mean, he was... Macy's everything. He rocking that, you know what I mean? He rocking. He got everything. Macy's. I mean, boom. He about to be. He about to be the next Tyson Bradford. Like, okay. Like lined up. Like contracts lined up. Boom. The next. Matter of fact, they had. He, he had. He had. He had about like. Boom. He had a, a six million dollar contract. You know what I mean? Like for do the law and orders. Mm. You know what I mean? Boom. Law and orders and all that. So the night before. So the night before that, the day before you signed the contract, they was going to celebrate. Like, yo, Tyson. Come to like, one of them parties. Tyson, I'm like, yo, we're going to go celebrate. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, boom. He gets to the party, whatever. Rocking. So Tyson, like, yo, whoop, you, you ready for the mall? Like, it's going to change your life. You know what I mean? But he like, no, before we do that, we going to go in this room. Like, Whoa. Like, he like, this is, you know what I mean? You see, he see everybody going in there. He like. He's like, yo, we gonna go in this room. Like, you might gonna see some. So then he's like, what? So it's like, it was like, like three or four of them. Know what I mean, three or four of the. Know what I mean, the, the next top people, whatever. So someone was like, yo, he like, skirt. Left all that shit on the table. He called me like, he called me like, yo, I, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yo, what? He like, he like all this time, like I was just thinking you was making an excuse. Mm. You know what I mean? Like making an excuse why you not on top or why, you know what I mean? He said, and when you was telling me that, when you telling me this, because I'm telling him, you know what I mean? Because that's my family, so I'm giving him the inside track. Of like, no, this is how that shit works. And you said, and, and just to clarify for the people, you said Tyson, meaning Tyson Bedford, not Mike Tyson. No, no, no. See, you see what I'm saying, people? This celebrity life is full gazy. And then let's not forget, you know, them rappers that be telling lies on their life, you know, just to try and get a certain particular crowd to follow them or to make them think they're cool because they took a couple gunshots. <laughs> Check this one out, people. All you niggas wanted to be whores. Like, blah, that make a game they need to smile for the first eight years of his career, but like, lying ass nigga trying to create a hoes. Like, blah, this nigga got shot in the booty because this nigga opened up the spot. Like, blah, nigga big face told y'all dumb ass. Don't sell nothing after 12 o'clock. But after 12 o'clock, the spot closed. Your dumb ass left some niggas in the spot and got shot in the booty with your own gun and then tried to lie to them. Yeah, I got shot five times. I don't know. But you got shot one time in the booty. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, game is like, man, I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Like, game, my nigga, though. Like, blood with my nigga because I remember when I was nobody and he was already somebody and I watched blood. And I looked up to blood. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say I looked up to blood, but I just respected blood. But then, like blood, when I really got to like, you know what I mean, getting to get around blood, and then I talked to Big Face. I really fuck with niggas that really know you. And then I heard the real story, like blood. Uh, okay, what coma? What coma, blood? Then they got shot one time in the booty, blood. The fucking niggas come on a coma. I was in a coma for five days. And then while I when I get while I was in the hospital, they brought me Nas and Biggie and all the greats. Thinking about that, but 
Where that blood? That shit was like blood. You niggas let blood like blood. Blood got away with it. I ain't gonna lie. Blood got away with it. And you niggas let him. Uh, serious shit. Blood got away with it. Blood got away with it. But you niggas let him. Niggas let him. Uh, serious shit. Yeah, I got shot five times. And I was in the coma for two weeks. And then I came out of my coma. And then my family brought me all the great CDs. Like, blood, who the fuck think about CDs fresh out of coma? Like, you fresh out of coma. You think, you know what? Bring me all eyes on me. I need that. You know what? Bring me all eyes. Like, bring me life after death. I need that. Like, bring me Nas. Illmatic. I need that. Like, I'm out of my coma. I need to learn how to rap. I need all the great CDs. Like, man, it sounded like a good story, man. Shut your go for you. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, man. Shut your go for you. It sounded like we let it ride. Like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I believed it too, man. Like, you know what I mean? It sounded like a good story, like, you know what I mean? I was in a hospital, I got shot five times, and I was in a coma, and I woke up out of my coma, and then I said, bring me all the great CDs, so they brought me all eyes on me, and they brought me life after death, and they brought me Illmatic, and they brought me reasonable doubt, and then they brought me all the, like, hard shit, and then I learned how to be great, like, that's how you weird, I said, that fucking lies. <laughs> you can only laugh in it. I keep telling you, the streets and this rapping thing is a myth. Protect your people and your family. Like, share, subscribe, peace.